First of all, uh, I would like to thank you very much for the invitation. And uh, I can see a lot of synergies between our projects. And if, it's, if there is an opportunity, we would be more than delighted to reciprocate this kind of uh, webinar for Pro Berlin project, but for any other potential opportunities that might arise. So uh, Berlin is uh, essentially a project that is funded in the same by ENI. And uh, I would like to say a few words about um, the motivation behind the work for Berlin, the partnership, what we are trying to solve and what the solution is. And then I want to focus on the main idea which concerns the pilot, some of the project outcomes. And I want to give a specific example of what we are doing with respect to the FOSS nanogrid, which is one of the pilots in Cyprus. So essentially, what we are looking at here, this is the Berlin project. And uh, what we are trying to do is to ensure that we maximize the penetration of photovoltaics in public buildings by using battery storage and by making the public buildings into smart and resilient nanogrids. And I will explain later what we mean by a nanogrid. This is a project which is funded by the ENI program. It started exactly on the same day that's your project. And uh, the budget is about 2.8 million euros. So the partnership consists of uh, partners from Greece, namely the University of Western Macedonia and the municipality of Kozani. We have the University of Cagliari from Italy and two municipalities, namely Region Autonoma della Sardinia and Municipality of Usaramana. Then we have Israel uh, with Ben Gurion University, the municipality of Eilat and Eilat. Sorry. And finally, we have Cyprus with uh, the coordinator, which is FOSS Research Center for Sustainable Energy at the University of Cyprus and Deloitte. So what are we trying to do in this project? Essentially, we are looking at the buildings because they consume a lot of energy and especially fossil fuels. And this in conjunction with areas with weak grids, such as islands or weak rural regions in the MENA region. We want to ensure that we have reliable grids. We have high penetration of uh, renewables, predominantly photovoltaics, because we have a lot of solar energy. We want to improve the grid stability and the power quality. And of course, finally, we want to fight energy poverty and we ha want to have a sustainable socioeconomic development and solution. And how do we do that? Through the so-called nanogrid. So essentially, we are making the buildings into independent entities, which are still connected to the grid, but they can act as independent entities as well. And we have nanogrids which are essentially consisting of the renewable sources of energy the battery storage and also regulating the demands the so-called demand side management this combined together into a solution which can be controllable means that we can uh, ensure that we have buildings which can have an optimal solution in, incorporated and we can also um, establish further penetration of the renewable sources of energy. So this is what we are doing in Berlin. Essentially, we are starting with the nanogrid concept. And essentially, we have photovoltaics on our buildings. We incorporate battery storage. But also, we want to encourage demand side management. We want to encourage the consumers to shift their loads so that we can ensure we have an optimum solution and we have the low lowest electricity prices. So all this together through a controllable solution, which is done through a nanogrid controller, which controls the load and the production and the battery. 
means that we have an intelligent solution whereby we have better penetration of renewables at the best possible electricity prices. And a typical nano grid is a power distribution system. It could be limited to one building, but also could be also expanded to many buildings. And this, the upgrade of this could be a microgrid, which could be also part of a community and energy community and so on and so forth. But we are focusing at the building level. So our nano grid consists of only one building. And as I said, we have renewables, which is the photovoltaics in this case. We have battery energy storage, but we also have demand side management. So we are shifting the loads in order to ensure that we maximize the benefit and we minimize the electricity cost. And if you can see the diagram there, everything is centered around the so-called nanogrid controller. Essentially, this is the brains of our system, which controls the production from renewables, which controls the battery storage, the charging and discharging. It controls, it could be also with the conventional energy sources, but it also controls the load, cooling, heating, lighting, and so on. All that uh, through a gateway could be connected to an external power system, so our electricity grid. So this nano grid is not an isolated uh, system. It's also connected to the electricity grid. So the essence of our work is to incorporate six pilots. We have in four countries, we have six pilots, one in Cyprus, two in Greece, two in Israel, and one in Italy. We are in the process of finalizing our tenders now, and we will call for tenders in the next few weeks for the installation of these systems. A crucial part is to collect data and to validate that our solutions are applicable and replicable as well. And through our data analysis, we can develop policies, we can develop new electricity tariffs, we can develop new solutions that can help the policymakers, the regulators, and potentially product developers move forward. So this is, this is where we are in terms of the pilots. In Cyprus, our pilot is the University of Cyprus, the building of our facilities. This consists of about 500 square meters of outdoor and indoor facilities for testing and validation. It consists of about 60 students there. Next, we have the Greek pilots, one in the Kilada town hall and another one in Pozdani dormitories from the university. Next, we have Israel. We have both an old school, but also a new school, one in Eilat and one in Eilat. We want to establish and see the challenges in retrofitting at a new school, but also in an old school. And the last one is at the University of Cagliari at the campus building there. So what are we aiming to achieve from this project? As I said, the main issue here is to establish our pilots in order to be able to collect data and validate these uh, solutions. Our aim is to integrate in an optimum way the technologies of photovoltaics, battery storage, but also demand side management. And we want to develop the tools to allow the renovation of these public buildings with the latest technologies. And then finally, we want to stimulate the uptake of these technologies, and we want to transfer this into policy making and also potentially product um, development. And last but not least, we want to replicate the work we are doing through Berlin to other potential countries in the Mediterranean region. And here I would like to invite you to probably be part of this PVMET um, consortium we are putting together. It's like an initiative where we will be able to replicate what we are doing through our project through that um, hub. We will send you more information uh, about our activities there. So, in the last couple of minutes, I would like to give you an idea of this nano grid, and I would like to take as an example the one in Cyprus. FOSS is our research center, and this is a living lab, as you rightly 
pointed out earlier, this is a living lab where people work, but this is also a facility for experimenting as well. This consists of about 56 to 60 people. We have facilities and this is where people work. And we want to transform that into a nanogrid. So these are our facilities. Imagine this is our load. We want to install, this is what we will install, a 40 kilowatt DIPV system to demonstrate the latest technologies in building integration. We will also install a 50 kilowatt hour, 100 kilowatt battery energy storage system, lithium ion battery. Next, we will also have a programmable load in order to be able to simulate and emulate the different loads. And following that, we will couple that to an energy management system so that everything can be done in a coordinated way. And in order to achieve that, we need to have our so-called nanogrid controller, the heart of the system, which is going to control all the different signals and all the different load generation units. On top of that, we will equip the lab with smart plugs so that we can control the different load. And of course, we want to be able to monitor the energy consumption and production through the smart meter. And um, just quickly, this is how we, uh, we envisage that. So we can connect to the grid and disconnect to the grid. We want to be able to adjust the generation level and the power factor, but also we want to be able to collect data from measurements and then Last but not least, we want to be able to have an interaction with our distribution system operator in order to be able to, sometimes if there is a problem with the grid, we want to be able to provide support to the grid. So some initial results from our facilities. Unfortunately, we started monitoring in January 2020, but uh, with the COVID issue, we had to close the, the university for the last few months. So we only have data from January and February. We have uh, resumed uh, the collection of data in July. But unfortunately, we only have two months worth of data. This is the energy consumption of the facilities. And what you can see, which is interesting, is that we have a peak, which is during noon. And we also have most of our consumption is during the weekdays, which is due to the fact that these are working hours. And through demand side management, we want to be able to shift these peaks in order to be able to make it um, more flat in the profile. So this is what we are aiming to achieve by the end of our tender. We will have the PV system, the, which is going to act as an exhibition center as well. So people can walk up there and see the latest technologies. There will be a training exhibition hall on top of the different um, facilities such as the battery system, the, um, the nanogrid controllers, smart meters, and uh, all the other constituent parts of um, the system. So it's definitely going to be a, a living lab because this is part of our facilities, but at the same time, we want to render it into a state-of-the-art exhibition center for people to come and get acquainted with the latest technologies in this area. So to finish off, I think uh, the combination of photovoltaics with battery storage and demand site management in a nanogrid setting can transform public buildings into intelligent entities that uh, can assist towards the energy transition. And uh, Berlin aims to pave the way and demonstrate the above. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Professor. I think uh, you are right. Uh, we have a lot of uh, things to share among the two projects, and I'm, I'm sure we will continue collaborating in the, in the future. We would because be more than delighted to continue this um, discussion and collaboration. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.